Alright guys, so here is the video updating the truck bed liner that I did probably a little bit over six months ago, so I guess this will be an update of that. And so this is uh, what it looks like right now. If you can see that. It actually held up a lot better than I thought it would. So, I mean, I wasn't using extreme things, but I did move a bunch of stuff here and there. So you can see that there are definitely chips. Like there's some there. Of course, this is the edge here, so a lot of things would scrape here. Overall, as you can see, it's actually held up pretty well. So let me get inside there and show you. All right, so over here we have a little bit more damage here. Here, scrape off here. Right here is a big one actually. So if I rub my, if I try to peel this with my finger, it's actually not peeling very easy at all. It doesn't want to peel. So it's actually pretty tough overall. I mean, I had heavy things in here, so that's probably from that. I think washer machines and stuff like that. So. Honestly, it's held up really well, and there's bird poop all over it, and it has not eaten that up either. So, yeah, pretty much the rest of the sides have done very well. Nothing wrong with the sides. So, I'm surprised that the tailgate didn't get beat up more than it did. So, overall, I would say it's been holding up pretty well. So, that's pretty awesome. So, I'm going to clean it out and uh, let dry it up. And then we'll put on some new, and then we'll touch it up, all these uh, scuffs. All right, so Marcus started the washing process. So we gotta wash this baby out, get that dirty out, and then we're gonna let it sit in the sun and dry up. We don't have a pressure washer, so we're just using a brush. So there's still stains that we can't wash off, but it's okay, we'll just get it clean and that should be good enough. Good job, Marcus. All right, guys, so the bed has dried up pretty good now. As you can see, it's not perfectly washed, but we didn't have a pressure washer, so the water hose with the little brush was all we got. But yeah, here's the uh, leftover bed armor here. And it looks like about, I got still probably one third in there. So here's the dried up from last use, about six months ago, almost seven probably. So it's pretty strong stuff, as you can see. So if this stuff sticks to whatever it sticks, I think it's really good. I think the whole problem is if it doesn't stick, it becomes weak and it just peels off, you know. So that's it's a big deal of how it sticks. If it sticks good, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty good. All right, guys. So I'm gonna shake this can up really good. Last time I used a stir stick on a drill, which worked very well when it was full, but when it's when it's got room in there to shake, this is probably the best way to shake it up anyway. I still have this roller left over from the last time when I used it, so it's still pretty good condition as you can see. Um, I don't have another brush, so I think I'm just going to use this roller and just dunk it straight into the, into the can. So. Anyways, let's see what it looks like. I already shake this thing up pretty good. Yep. Looks pretty good. But there you go. So I guess I'm gonna do just like before, start from that end and work myself down here. I guess I can be messy now since this is the last time I'm gonna use all these tools. Yeah. Still the same stuff looks like, so. So I'm gonna try to concentrate on getting the um, the parts that are scraped off, obviously. And uh, and then just mostly do the bottom like this. So here we got a scrape right there. So I'm gonna make sure I cover that real good. A thick layer, so. Anyway, that's the beauty of this. Uh, Duplicoli bed armor is that you can go back like this and touch it up. So if I ever needed to touch it up again, I'll just buy a quart can and uh, do the same thing again. So. 
Alright guys, so here's how much I got done. Probably been only about 15 minutes, so I'm not trying too hard because everything's already, uh, you know, it has a layer already on it so I can go pretty quick without trying to make a good coverage on everything. So yeah, it's actually doing pretty good. I think this will make it a lot tougher now with having these two layers on top of each other. So, Anyways, I'm just doing the bottom. So, and I still got quite a bit left for sure so I'll definitely have enough so that's awesome all right guys just want to show you how I just want to show you how I roll this stuff on here so I just crudely get a bunch of it and just kind of spread it around just like that and then I kind of just go back and forth over the ridges like this is the best way if you go like this you know you're not gonna be able to do a good job so yeah it's not too hard just back and forth if you got like little lines, you just barely just drive over them without even putting pressure on it, and it makes it look nice without any kind of weird lines or anything. So, yeah, simple as that. Not too hard actually. And this literally won't take long. Maybe you know 30 minutes at most to do everything with the tailgate and everything. So it's not too bad. All right, guys. So I'm gonna continue working this thing, and I will. Be back, I guess, once I'm done with the whole thing. Alright guys, so the new layer is in, and it's drying. So it actually wasn't too hard. I think it took me only about 20 minutes. I guess 30 minutes at the most for everything. So not too bad. So now we got to wait till it dries real good. And then we can use it again. So I didn't do the walls, obviously. But just the floor should be good enough so I try to cover everything I thought would needed extra so I actually put a little more on here on the back so it will be more durable and a lot over here at the edges the edge of the bed where a lot more scratching goes on so anyway so I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll see what it looks like once it dries and I also wanted to mention after being so sloppy with it and using a bunch of it I still have quite a bit left you can see there's the bottom and so I probably have enough to do touch up so I'm gonna close that lid back up and maybe in half a year open it again and do a little bit of touch ups alright guys so it's been a few hours since I got this paint on there and it's drying up nicely actually you can touch it well right here it's already in the sun so it's really it's drying quicker even though this is the last piece I painted, but you can already touch it, no problem. Uh, these bigger chunks are still a little bit soft, but, but yeah, it's drying pretty good. So it needs uh, probably about a day at least, maybe a couple days to get real good. So, but I'm going to park this truck out in the sun and it'll get dry real quick. So it should be good. Anyways, guys, hope this was useful to you. And uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. It worked out for me really good and I'm happy with it overall so anyways thanks for watching this video and please hit the like button if you like this video and please subscribe for more videos I do a lot of reviews on this channel all right and if you want some of this armor I'll leave a link in the description all right guys thanks for watching and we'll see you later peace